You said Jorge Ochoa was perhaps the brains of the Medellin cartel. What was he like? And why do you say he was the brains? Well, he was a gentleman. And I suppose he shipped, there's no telling how many more times of cocaine than Pablo did. Just and him and his brothers, you could tell by the, they had on each to each a load, they was in duffel bags and his big football shaped uh, fluffy stuff made with ether. And uh, they would have three horns on it or a rattlesnake or four X's on each bag. You kind of got to knowing which was which was which, and they shipped a lot. So, um, and he was just a gentleman. I took the family. We went one weekend to his ranch or his uh, palatial place out near Barranquilla, and all. Oh, we, he just treated the family. His family had a his younger brother wrote made a bull fight, and we had uh, skiing and. Uh, little airplanes on floats on on the water. It was really nice, and he was really nice. How do you make sense of the tension that a man could be a gentleman, can have integrity, but also be a murderer? Well, murder is is a is a stronger word than killing. Can you explain the 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 line, the gray area we're talking about? I mean, I've just talking with Jocko Willink, and we talked a lot about killing in the context of uh, military conflict and the context of war. So there, there's a line between murder and killing that you can draw. What's uh, the line that you're referring to? It's something similar. If you if people are shooting at you and you shoot back and kill him, I don't. That's not murder whatsoever. It's uh, uh, he's trying to get away or, or out, out of the situation. But if uh, some woman don't pay you and you send a hitman over to, to, to kill her and her children. Yeah. That's, that's, that's murder. That's murder. Was Jorge involved in those kinds of things? I so, don't think so at all. It just, I mean, he was, he was just such a gentleman. He had a, a restaurant before and, and he was just smart. I understand that uh, the first 10 kilos he sold, he was sitting on a, on a motorcycle in the, in the sidelines in a parking lot. And when the DEA come in, he sped away. So he didn't come back to America. He was just smart. Some people just have are savvy. And he was such a gentleman. And the whole family, the mother and the father, the two brothers, their sister. There was, I was there when she was kidnapped. And uh, finally, he kidnapped our, our, I guess, 100 leaders of the FARC. And uh, said, all right, if she don't come back, none of these are going to come back. <laughs> so they made a deal. 